We know it's getting close to winter, late fall. We're going to start a segment each week with a local team, and we start with the UNOH men's basketball team. 1-0 to start the year, a thrilling 66-64 win at Taylor University. The head coach, Caleb Williams, sitting next to me, Nathan Lessing from Fairlawn, now a sophomore with the Racers, and Willis Mackey Jr. down at the end, one of two seniors on the team. We'll talk with these guys before their big game tomorrow. The home opener in the garage with Shawnee State, Coach Williams. Always great to start the season with a win, but a thrilling win come from behind. I mean, take us through night one. Yeah, no, it was uh, just an incredible start for our team and our group of individuals, a really young team. And so for those guys to make plays down the stretch like we did is a huge shout out to, uh, to our guys for their efforts. And, you know, as we fought back continually throughout the game, we're down early. Um, we're down, I think, seven at half and just kept battling, battling, battling and got, you know, continued to get stops and then finally got the lead. And, and uh, you know, Zach Montez, one of our freshmen in his debut, you know, 20 points and he scored the last six points for us, including uh, the game winner uh, at the buzzer. So just an incredible effort by our guys to start in a hostile environment against a really good team in Taylor uh, University that's going to win a lot of games. So really proud of our guys. That play making our Leifeld Welding and Industrial Supplies top five this week. Nice, nice. Uh, I think your mom filmed it. Or uh, yeah, <laughs> we yeah, got it yeah, out somewhere yeah. off social yeah. media. Uh, but huge play there. Was that the way the play was designed? No, no, not, <laughs> not exactly. Um, Look at the reaction of these guys. We were actually trying to get Willis uh, going to the basket um, on a little kind of up screen diving him to the rim but you know Zach was designed to have the ball in his hands to be the passer um, and we just um, didn't quite execute exactly how we wanted it but at the end of the day we've got the guy we you know we got it in the hands of a guy who was hot at the time and um, and he went and made a play and um, you know it's the uh, it's the privilege of having really good players like these two guys and Zach and a lot of our guys is they make me look good as a coach you know <laughs> even when even when things don't go exactly as planned so it wasn't exactly how we wanted it but at the end of the day, we had the ball in the right guy's hands at the right time, and he made the play we needed. So Willis Mackey, we talk M Mackey Jr. You're, you're one of two seniors, and it used to be all these older guys, and you were one of the younger guys, not just two seniors on the team. How different does this team feel from your first couple of years? Uh, definitely different because my first couple of years, I was always kind of yeah. um, not so much in the background, but my role was a lot different. And now, like with a younger team, I. Like I noticed that everything I do is the ex I have to set the example and set the tone and practice and I want to encourage more and just do more that I really never had to do because somebody was always doing it for me and just like I think just switching that role has been pretty like good I guess. What what has it been exciting for you senior year you know this yeah, is yeah. it you know take us through getting to that first uh, game and getting the win. Oh I mean the game personally I, I didn't do everything I wanted to do that game but. In the moment like that, you just got to put all that aside and just realize like it's the team success that matters the most. And like he said, the play was supposed to go to me, but it didn't go that way. And it didn't bother me at all because we had we had it in the right person side at the right time. And as long as the team wins, that's all I care about. Um, and like in terms of my senior year, I mean, I'm looking for big things and I feel like I have the, the right people around me to make it happen. So I'm ready to you know get it going. Nathan Lesson, you held Taylor to 33 percent as a team defensively. What's the defensive mindset this year? You guys seem to, to really be locked in there after one game at least. Yeah, I think our communication was a big part of that. We just talking where guys were cutting on screens and just communication, boxing out. We just played a huge role in that. We were in the guys, giving them tough shots all game and just finished it how we wanted to. We haven't gotten to go down to Shelby County too much yet. Of course, not a lot of football in Shelby County, but the all-time leading scorer for Shelby County basketball here. Are you excited for some high school basketball, too, to keep up with yeah. your team and, and their league? Yeah, I like, I like to keep up with the Shelby County League, just see how teams are, how they finish, and how they progress through the year. I, I like to keep track of that. Pretty special to play so close to home at UNOH? Yeah, that's, that's one of the re main reasons why I came here, other than... Coach Williams coming in, I wanted to play for him, but uh, being close to home and just have family and friends come and watch, so that's a big part of me coming here. Yeah, so you were an assistant coach when you recruited Nathan, and, and now he's one of the leaders on this team. Probably pretty cool to see that maturation so far. Yeah, no, it's been awesome, you know, for me to recruit him as, an, you know, as the assistant and then take the head coaching job with then Nate coming in as a freshman and, um, you know, being really excited about getting him here and we recruited him pretty hard and he had a lot of suitors and it could have been really easy for him to go 
uh, some place that maybe had you know more tradition and more of a history of us still being a young program. But um, he he wanted to come play for us and um, and just to see him grow and the guy who is a kind of lead by example type guy. He's a really hard worker. Um, and, and but now he's starting to step in and find his voice as a leader and I've challenged him that over and over and he he's starting to get accustomed to it and he's still <laughs> he's still got room to grow but he's just doing an awesome job and, and and it's awesome for his friends his family to become able to to see him play and and for us kind of the example of, of for us to get those northwest Ohio northwest central Ohio guys to stay at home and play uh, basketball for us here at UNOH and uh, he's kind of the guy that we're building around from that standpoint. And a few guys from Bahamas too. That, yeah. That doesn't hurt. Yeah, if we can, you know, <laughs> if we can mix in a couple of those, and especially if they got Willis's mindset, work ethic, and uh, ability, that'd be fantastic. No question. Shawnee State, the opener at home tomorrow in the garage. Excited to be at home. Yeah, absolutely. It's always fun at the garage. Um, unique place to play, unique atmosphere. Uh, always get a great following. Um, and so excited and a really good test. Shawnee State. Um, very athletic, very big team, probably start two guys above 6'10", um, and so that'll be a challenge for us, um, but definitely excited to see what our group does. With the, you know, They stepped up the first time we challenged them in game one, and now we've got game two, the next challenge ahead, and just excited to see how we respond and, uh, and make plays at home in front of our home fans. That's tomorrow at 3, coming out to the garage for that one. Finally, want to touch on, you guys helped out with uh, giving out some food last month. Willis, what was that like for, for you guys to kind of give back to the community and to the student body with that food drive at the Neighborhood Relief Thrift Store. I think it's huge. Like, uh, when, when he told us about the opportunity, I, I, even in my high school, I, we always would find ways to, like, give back to the community, and it was cool to, you know, be able to, I guess, show our face in a different way. Like, we were represented not only on the basketball court, but in a giving way, like, which is, I think is really important, especially when you want people to support you. Like, it's good to show that we support them as well, you know what I mean? So it's like, it goes both ways. So. I think it was huge, like, it was really fun to be a part of that, like, giving out the food and helping everybody, like, honestly, the team was, like, gelling more, and we were having fun with it, so it was, it was cool to be a part of. All right, thanks, guys. UNOH no men's basketball, plenty of chances to see them this year, this month, just two, tomorrow at 3 o'clock, and then the 14th at 7.30, pretty big one in league against Indiana yeah, Tech. Yeah, first league game against a really good Indiana Tech team and was picked to win the conference this year, so it'll be a great test for us. All right, thank you guys. Caleb Williams, Willis Mackey Jr., Nathan Lesson. We'll have more coming up on Sports Report.